so we have a shape biopsy from Will Power. I just see this lichenoid and portrait. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, I would have to see the but in real life. Yes, of um, course. I'd be like, uh, just, do they want a rash? Do they want to get a lesion? Could this be a, like a benign lichenoid keratosis? And then closer up, you can see that there is pigment. And that pigment. Yeah, there's pigment right there. A little hard. Yeah, good. This is hemophilia. Yeah, exactly. This is this is uh, exactly as you said in real life. Without any history, I would think of a lichenoid dermatitis or lichenoid keratosis first because it does look band-like here. But when we go closer, you can see that the lymphocytes are, and you can even appreciate from here that even though they're band-like, they are a little bit kind of localized in lob, like little nodules around the the vessels here. Although, admittedly, though, because I know what it is, I can say, oh, yes, you can clearly see. But uh, in real life, I would probably think that's harder to pick up on. And so the, uh, there's usually lymphocytes around the papillary dermal vessels. There's going to be uh, hemorrhage. And there's going to be um, uh, hemosiderin in most cases. Although I, I promise I've seen things that I thought fit perfectly for pigment and purpuric dermatosis that did not have any hemosiderin. So in, you can do stains, obviously, to prove that that's hemocytor, and you can do like a Prussian blue and iron stain. And this was, I think, uh, clinically was lichen aureus, uh, which is the form of pigment of purpuric dermatosis or pigment of purpuric eruption, whichever you like. And there are, as you guys know, there are multiple different patterns of pigment of purpuric dermatosis. Some of them are just lymphocytes around vessels. Others make more of a lichenoid band. Sometimes it's with spongiosis. Supposedly, there's ones that can be granulomatous, although I Every time I've ever tried to make that diagnosis, it didn't seem to really actually fit, but, but it has been described that you can have a granulomatous form, so pigmented purpuric dermatosis. And um, they, some people think at least some of the cases are a lymphocytic vasculitis, that the lymphocytes are damaging the vessels. Okay, fine. Maybe so, because uh, there is hemorrhage, but, but they don't usually have neutrophils. They don't have leukocytoclastic vasculitis. So pigmented purpuric dermatosis.